the infection and not the Gorgosaurus that stops dead in its tracks. The Gorgosaurus survived to fight another day. Phil suspects it wasn't just luck. He'll learn about the Gorgosaurus' immune system by looking at an animal it shares an ancestor with. Alligators. Like Gorgosaurus, gators are ferocious predators. They're also remarkably infection resistant considering their disease laden swamp environment. Phil is at Florida's alligator farm to study how crocodilians fend off infection and maybe learn a thing or two about dinosaurs. He meets up with paleobiologist Greg Erickson and a rather uncooperative patient. One of its back legs was bitten off, and the other leg has a nasty looking open wound. They move the injured gator out of the frame to give it some R&R &R in its own pen. The wounds need attention, but incredibly neither leg is infected. Remarkable, because a bite from one of these creatures is like waging bacterial warfare. The Cretaceous world of the Gorgosaurus wasn't so different. The diet of raw and rotting flesh doesn't exactly promote oral hygiene. So a dinosaur bite could deliver death in two ways, fast kill and slow infection. To prove the power of an alligator's bite, Greg measures its bite force. Easier said than done. Like Gorgosaurus, alligators live and die by their long, toothy jaws. Shattered bone and drive infection deep into the wood. 